Hello, welcome to the Church of the Good Shepherd's Ministry Minute. I'm Pastor Mike Green. On October 9th, the church remembers uh, one of my great heroes of the faith, Robert Grosetest, who was a bishop in England in the 1200s and was several hundred years ahead of his time in terms of uh, using uh, his observations of nature to determine what uh, God was trying to say to his people in the, in the world. And um, uh, looked very deeply into such subjects as optics and light. Um, and light is, as we all know, one of the key symbols in the Bible and in our tradition for God. It is uh, mysterious and ethereal, yet it's all around us. Our life depends on it, yet we uh, don't understand it well enough to be able to completely control it. And uh, it's the subject of much debate in modern scientific circles. One of the, the greatest ideas that uh, uh, Robert Grosetest put forward about light was uh, that it is something that is invisible uh, in, in its um, character. Uh, we rely on it reflecting off of other things in order for it to be known to us. Uh, for instance, in this room here, uh, you can't see that I'm, I'm swimming in a, a bath of particles of light. You can only see the surfaces that it's reflecting off of. And uh, as the light reflects off of those things, uh, something about the intrinsic character of the things that are, are being illuminated by the light is, is shown. Uh, this is a, a wonderful theological idea that uh, God and God's grace are imperceptible uh, in the world until there is uh, something that reflects that light and that grace. Um, a mote of dust traveling through the, the room, for instance, can catch a, a sunbeam and uh, make itself known and make the light known at the same time uh, by traveling through it. This is part of our call as Christians. Jesus calls us to step out into the light and become light. And uh, our vocation, our ministry, is to take that uh, uncreated light that comes from God and uh, catch it in our hearts and reflect it out into the world. Uh, if you want the world to be a brighter, more lovely, more grace-filled place, then it is our call to become light and reflect the light of God's gracious goodness to all whom we encounter.